Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a single color spiral. For this project, you can turn your shirt inside out if you want to. I didn't for this one. You want to decide where you want the center of your spiral to be, give it a little pinch, and then just spiral it up. And as you notice, I use my one hand to keep the spiral tight, and then I'm really using my opposite hand to create the spiral. Once you have your shirt spiraled up the way that you like it, it's time to secure it. I prefer to secure my spirals using rubber bands. I got these fantastic rubber bands off of Amazon and I do have a link for them down below in the description box. And I want to just mention that all of the rubber bands are the exact same size. Um, because I'm doing this series of yellow, it's helping me um, to like do all the same color so that when I'm editing I can just see like oh I used all the yellow that's the same shirt or all pink that's the same shirt but just to clarify these are all the same size rubber bands and they're awesome so I recommend you check them out as I'm working on securing my spiral I like to try to tuck all the loose tails into the nearest rubber band creating a really nice tight spiral. I also try to have my rubber bands intersect in the center of the spiral. It just sort of helps with die placement. You know, it doesn't always work out that way and it's not a necessary step, but it, I do find it to be helpful. Now using a washable marker, I'm going to mark out my pattern. And I'm just demonstrating to you where the center of the spiral is. With a single color spiral, you want to make sure that you're going to have the die run through the center of the spiral. Otherwise, it gets a little wonky looking. So now you need to decide what type of a container or a rack or what system you want to use to do your ice die. For this one, I'm using the over the sink strainer and I absolutely love these things and I use them constantly and I do have a link for them down below in the description box and I, I strongly recommend that if you're able to get them, you do. They are so handy. Once you have all of your dye on it the way you want, grab a mask and then just give your project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash. And I'm only going to sprinkle it on top of the golden yellow because that's really the only place that I want to keep the pH up. I don't want all of the white turning yellow. I came back after a few hours and I checked it and I just really didn't see that the dye was dissolving very well and I wasn't getting any reach with it. It wasn't bleeding into the white. So I decided that I would just pack it on with some of my nugget ice and just let it go. And you wanna make sure that you let it batch for 24 hours after the ice is melted. 
It's been 24 hours since the ice has melted and now it's time for the rinse out. So you want to start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers. And you want to do that because you don't want to get dye back, especially when you're working with trying to keep white white. You need to get that soda ash out of the white. And then you want to gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a clear, plain hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Kirilon, which is formerly known as Synthropol. And I do have a link for it down below in the description box along with everything else that I use. So I recommend that you check that out before asking questions. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft to bring softness back into the fabric. And then I put it in the dryer and we come back and we see our results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our single color spiral ice dye using golden yellow. And I, I do need to remind you guys, you can use any color that you want and you can use as many colors as you want. I'm just adding this to my Dharma playlist. I wanna swatch out every single color they have available to me. And it, I think it's just, it's going to be a very helpful tool. So overall, I'm super pleased with this shirt. I am glad that I added that extra layer of ice. I think it just sort of helped the dye dissolve. And it's such a pretty color. It doesn't lean towards the orange like some of the other yellows have. And so that's pretty cool. You know, now I know. I use golden yellow a lot. I just really think it's a it's a good balance between yellow and orange. And, and you know, it has some pretty undertones. So, I mean, what do you guys think? And then right here is a swatch of liquid dye. And sorry for the purple. I do use it a lot. But now we know what it looks like in liquid form and in ice form. So again, thank you so much for watching and keeping the views up on these because I need that. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a thumbs up and then click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.